President Bola Tinubu missed the Northwest Star Peace and Security Summit in Katsina, but his vice, Kashim Shatima, praised the effort of security forces and fighting insecurity in the region. Shatima stated that the Tinubu administration had disrupted criminal networks through Vaihan's border security and its intelligence capabilities. Now, the government is working to strengthen collaborations among security agencies, coordinating joint training exercises, inter-agency cooperation, communication and information sharing. Our presence here is a communal gathering to address the afflictions that are threatening the stability and unity of this great house. I am honored to join you in reflecting on our path to extinguishing the pious we were elected to foot out. Beyond the economic rationale that drops the amalgamation of the northern and southern parts of Nigeria, the formation of our great nation was inspired by the need for mutual protection. But I ask, how can we achieve this sacred objective if one part is afflicted? We have long established that whatever else any part of this federation destabilizes the other. So the issue of national security in the Northwest it's not a sectional agenda. We promise to make Nigeria safer, and this aim has been our topmost priority since we came to office over a year ago. We realize that achieving the peace we seek necessitates addressing the historical injustice that have torn communities apart. We must also reverse the institutional priorities governing security and the economic dysfunction that create vulnerabilities to crime. We must also counter the ideological mischief that has pervaded the discourse of peace and security in the region. Our meetings over the past few months have shown our readiness for a paradigm shift in achieving peace in northern Nigeria. We have established the need for combining military interventions with police reform, local policing enhancement, peace building programs, dialogue promotion and educational campaigns to address the underlying causes of conflict. We have also identified a roadmap that includes integrating military, political and socio-economic strategies, enhancing cross-border cooperation, investing in youth empowerment and education, strengthening local institutions, promoting inclusive dialogue, prioritizing prevention and resilience building measures, and engaging regional neighbors for support. The Sultan uh, Mohammed Abubakar III has urged the uh, Northerners to uh, confront bandits and insurgents to combat the region's uh, security issues. Speaking at the Northwest Peace and Security Summit in Katsina State, Abubakar highlighted the devastating impact of uh, banditry and its insurgency on residents. Now, he emphasized the need for traditional rulers to partner with uh, security agencies and also governors to combat these threats. Abubakar believes proposals to reduce banditry and insurgency will be finalized at the summit. It's time to ask the question, why are things still in the state they are today, despite the tons of money spent on procuring equipment for the services and also for the well-being of the personnel, and also what the governors have been doing to bring to an end this insecurity. We need to ask this question for us to discuss and move and know how to move forward. But without giving an answer to this question, we cannot go anywhere. We will come back to another conference again. We're still talking about the same issue, the same problem. I'd like to thank UNDP and other United Nations agencies and the German government for supporting this conference in this beautiful hall, very conducive to talk about issues of insecurity. But the real issues are talked outside the hall, where the people live, in the villages, in the towns, and in the markets, which I think we need to discuss here, so that the governors will have a way forward in what really we all must do together to bring these problems to a minimal level. I would like to thank you and even other agencies, but I want to say no matter how much support you give us, if we are not ready and willing to end these crime, this criminal activities, we can't succeed. We will be the ones to work for this and 
end these problems if we so desire. Nobody will come from somewhere to work for us. Nobody will come from the moon to solve these problems. We must solve our problems.